High temperatures have Placer County officials shutting down parks and warning people of the extreme heat. And it comes as Auburn saw a high temperature of 95 degrees today. Your reporter covering Placer County, Brady Howbleib, joining us live with their message tonight. Brady. Well, guys, 95 isn't actually their record for this time of year, but it was enough to close Hidden Falls Regional Park. Meanwhile, there are other trails that are open today, and I spoke to some locals there who tell me that they want visitors to the area to come prepared. We bring what we need. Locals Alexis Bulger and Maddie Jones are always prepared for a hot day on the river. We brought ice packs, um, tons of food, which we already yeah. Eight, so. And that includes this ice chest packed with ice, food, and a lot of water. Oh, it, was, it was really hot today. It feels like a sauna. Like dozens of people visiting the North Fork of the American River in Auburn, the heat is hard to ignore. We have this water bottle full of river water, and we've just been pouring it on ourselves. While they came prepared, others did not. I say bring more water, definitely come in more prepared with shoes, hiking shoes for sure. With more visitors to the area, Auburn PD put out a warning recently posting on Facebook urging people to be aware of excessive heat, stay hydrated, stay indoors during the hottest parts of the day, and learn the signs of heat related illness. The county wants to take steps to keep the you know, the region safe. The high heat has Placer County officials closing down Hidden Falls Regional Park due to high fire danger. The move is uncommon, but they make their decisions based off advisories from the National Weather Service and CAL FIRE. If it's a high fire risk of weather event, which generally comes with the winds and the high temperatures, we take steps to close the park. Fire mitigation efforts are underway to clear out dry fuels, including bringing in goats to eat it away. Another reason to close the park is to keep hikers safe and emergency crews away. We're also um, helping to, to avoid, you know, instances where people have to have, you know, rides out or um, emergency calls for service. As locals to the area, that's something Alexis and Maddie want to avoid and hope others do the same. When it's starting to get this hot, it's not just like, oh, we will be fine. Like you actually do have to prepare. Now, of course, these warm temperatures aren't going to go anywhere anytime soon, but park officials do tell me that the park will be open on Friday, guys.